Hello and welcome everybody. As you may be able to tell, there was a slight break between this episode and the last, and that was because of a slight problem with the recording, so I created a TLDR version for you all to enjoy. Have fun. And here's what you all missed. We paid for Lysia's services. Falcon told me I was too stupid to be worth his time. I killed all these mobs with throwing knives. I remembered to use heal when needed. I managed to parry this torturer, but it didn't kill him. We forgot to use the second bonfire after lighting it. Yeah, that came back to bite us in the butt. I found out that a single backstab wouldn't kill these guys, but tapping them with my chime afterward does. We decided that the undead purgatory was a terrible idea. Merciless Rowena gave us the best drop in the entire game. This is doubly awesome since it fits perfectly with the run. I whacked skeletons with my hammer. A bunch. We learned why the caged Creighton sings. I killed the skeleton lords like they were regular mobs. And we finally made it to Harvest Valley. And you're back? Great. Well, I told Chloanne to shove off, and she decided, you know what, I'm going home to Majula, so I'll see you over there. In the meanwhile, you may have noticed that I also have a fancy schmancy new intro video running before my videos, and can I just say thanks to Perpetual Creations for... Can I move? I don't know what happened, but I was stuck there for a second there. Can I just say a special thank you to Perpetual Creations for... Oh my goodness, for his amazing work with that. If I could stop blundering long enough to give him proper credit, he is a, an inspiring animator who's been doing great work recently and is looking for a little bit of representation, possibly a commission here or there, and he decided that he was going to make me that intro video, and by golly is it just fantastic. You can actually find him and his other works over on his channel, and they all are really great. I know that he's also created an intro for my friend Phoenix that I've collaborated with and will be releasing another series with quite shortly, so look forward to that. But he's doing great work right now, and if you could toss a little extra work his way, I'm sure he'd be greatly appreciative. So get that out of the way and let you all know what's going on with that. You can also find a link to his channel in the description if you don't want to actually go around rooting around looking for him, so just know that that's there, and that's what's going on with the amazing new intro. Looks like my health is actually going down really quickly for this poison. I think I may have undercut my investments into Vigor if my health is going down that quickly, but I shouldn't need that much health or Estus before my next bonfire, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Gavlan over here, wheeling and dealing like a boss. Even hiding a little raw stone over here, that's probably going to be pretty helpful for us. I believe I have everything useful that I'm going to want from him, so yes, you go home. And in fact, he will be going home to the Doors of Pharos after this, where he can rejoin all of his Germkin and spend their time cavorting about the Halls of Pharos and reminiscing about the days before mankind banished them from the surface world, so... Good luck to him in his endeavors. I think we've grabbed up all the loot out here. Yeah, that little check confirmed it. And we can head on to this last little deadly hallway over here. I believe we should have one last Estus Flask left, so... I have to take care of all seven... Seven? Eight of these enemies, if I include this guy up here. Oh, is there no guy up here? I remember there being one, but it could be over on the next one. Oh, I was hoping I could make that jump and not take the fall damage, but no such luck, so let's heal up. I have been neglecting these heal miracles, but no longer. We can... Mm, how do I want to do this? There's seven enemies here, five of the prisoners, and two of these big boys, so come right in, aggro the big boy, stab him a few times. Let's see, that takes him about... Mm, Two-fifths of the health. Counter hit should help out. There we go. Come on. No such luck. Roll past and get the rolling attack. 
Was that a double kill? It was! Fantastic. And that leaves this guy all by his lonesome, all unattended and whatnot. Get the camera to wiggle around to the proper direction. I can jab him a few times. He should get pissed and come at me once more. And I can end him at where he stands. Now it's a simple matter of going about and killing these last prisoners because they are just getting in my way. And I can come on up this ramp and take on the final two in order to pull the lever and open up the pathway to the next bit of the area. Making nice progress. I made really nice progress in the last episode, but sadly you only got to see the recap version that I had to go back and reshoot, so... Oh well for that. There's always something going wrong, but... Trust me, I'll get it nailed down one of these days. No... No need to worry. I also figured out that there was a problem with my rendering settings for brightness, so I got that fixed up, and all these episodes should be coming out in a much closer to true color act uh, version from here on in, so that's another great thing to look forward to with these episodes coming up in the future. Let's piss off this guy back here, and immediately slide in behind him. I think that I can take the risk of having him come over here to open up this side area come to his side to make sure that when he walks back he doesn't actually go too far away oh come on there we go he opens the path for us but I'm afraid that he might take us out there we go because his dark orb attack does incredibly nasty damage and if I get caught by that I'm probably dead given my current health anything less than full health versus these guys is just asking for trouble so we get to open up the way and grab up all this wonderful stuff and head a little bit further in in order to grab the poison stone that's right down here which we could actually make fine use of considering we're going dex heavy kind of poking at range it might be something to consider that we should pick up a poison weapon somewhere along the line especially because poison is also linked to pyromancy given the poison mist spell and toxic mist spells that you can pick up along the way. Goodness! First person mode makes it incredibly difficult to navigate the fog areas, but we should get a much better idea of how horrible it is once we head into the shaded wood, which, trust me, I am not looking forward to. Time for an ambush! Let's get all these guys coming around let's see we've got them two coming from there so we've got everybody dropped down except for him and we can kite back along this whole stretch quite nicely once I get him attacking there we go get some counter hits back it up one last hit for the kill shot and his buddy can take his place oh oh dear there is an enemy behind me which means I need to get gone oh and if I could walk up this ramp that could, oh dear. Nope, you've been fun, but I need to kite on down here. There we go, once more, once more, come on, hurry. There we go. It cost me a hit, but it also gained me two kills, so it was a worthwhile trade. Come on up here and get my heal on. Make sure I'm facing the right way so that I don't get backstabbed. And we should be able to take this guy out in three quick hits once he's spent. Yes, there we are. Tap him three times on the face, and he goes down without too much of a problem. And now I can go around looting the chamber, because I've killed all of the loose enemies. And believe me, there is a lot of loot here. As is always the case, I spend quite a bit of time here, just because there's so many different drops all around the place, and I can never keep them all straight as which one... Ooh, dear! I thought I killed you! No, I forgot I didn't aggro this guy. He was still off in his corner in La La Land while I dealt with his friends, so let's have him come on down here and I can deal with him in fine style just like the rest of them. Let's see, we got a swing and a miss, and I roll out of that last one, so one last kill shot. Bing bada boom. Take him out and go back around picking things up. Did I? I think I grabbed the one in there. I'm just gonna head on and see which other ones I haven't grabbed. This one, 
and there should be that last side chamber before I can move on and take down the Titanite Lizard. And I believe there's also one prisoner in here as well. Maybe he went around trying to get to me, but I could have sworn. Anyways, run on over, and the spear picks it up. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Oh, blighted. Blighted worm. Well, that didn't work out, but luckily enough, there's nothing too important on that one. Just some large titanite. No chunks to worry about, so we can ignore it for now. Especially because we don't have any twinkling titanite weapons that we want to be upgrading. See if I can make this jump. I can. Fantastic. Gets me that simpleton spice, which is going to come in quite handy later in the game. Also, the large titanite. And since I am going half uh, sorcerer, I'm definitely going to want chameleon to go along with that. So, grab up all this stuff. Heal myself. Maybe the heal miracle wasn't the best idea, but I think I can off a second one while I'm safe here in this fog and that means my poison wears out as well that right there is either just a single titanite shard like a regular shard or it is souls and no matter which it is it's not worth my time and the danger it would take to pick up so I can completely bypass that these hammer bros die in a nice two strong attack combo so I don't have too much to worry about, and I can, ooh, I was going to say I can sneak up on this guy, and it may still be true because he is very weird about his animations, though he does take a little bit more damage to kill than his brethren out and about in the other room. No matter, I come on over here to the sunlight office, sunlight altar, or altar of sunlight, and get the gesture, that's all I'm going to need, so we can head right on out and hopefully not encounter too much trouble in between me and the boss, considering my weapon's at half durability and I only have two heal spells left, so I may want to be a little bit more careful about how, I Ooh, about how I'm running this. Kite him around and draw him into my spear. The spear staggers him quite nicely and allows me to come right on through. I believe that there's one of these bugs right up here. Yes, tag him. And there should be three of these hammer bros going to come and try and assault me before I can make it to the boss fog. That's one, two, and there's the third. So that's quite right. Wait for them to come at me as a pair. Muck that up, but no matter. I can... Excuse me. I was not even on your level. Quite literally. Just keep on backing up. They're a bit too slow and clunky to come after you. So as long as you keep backpedaling and make sure to only take engagements on your own terms when you're ready, when you have stamina, and can stagger them immediately because they have quite low poise, surprisingly enough, you can take them out quite nicely. Come on in here. There's going to be three of these buggers and one of the hammer bros over there. Though we can get a backstab. Oh, okay, I was going to say we could get a backstab, but sadly no such luck. This trap chest has a torch in it, but I want it anyways. That was almost a horrible mistake. It is so much more difficult to dodge out of these trap chests when you're in first person. Just like it's so much more difficult to do anything in this first person mode, but no matter. Let's see if we can make this jump. I overshot. Goodbye, cruel world. As you can see, I have the ring of life protection to save me, but I died. Okay, so since that jump was a bit of a flub, I think I'm going to ignore that side passage area. There's three drops down there, and the chance for the claw-wielding uh, mannequins to drop their claws, but considering that I'm... Oh, dear. How did that not stagger you or kill you in any respect? But since I'm not going to be using claws at all, especially given that I'm in this first-person mode, that was sort of close range weapons aren't very handy. I don't think I'm gonna bother giving it another go. I can quite comfortably ignore that entire side area and not even have it affect my character in any form. However, that does mean I need to immediately head down here 
and pick up the seventh, or rather, no! Oh goodness, no, stop! Oh my god, I was trying to Estus, but it wouldn't let me. And I didn't have my ring of life protection equipped. Fantastic. As I was saying before these two so rudely interrupted me, I need to grab the sixth Titanite, not Titanite, but Estus Flash Shard all the way over here at the end of this little sewer hallway. And I can completely ignore this side passage right here because all it contains is a few of the poison bug creatures and the ring of poison protection, which is pretty worthless now that the Shulva DLC is released because the Shulva DLC immediately gives you the Poison Bite Ring plus two. I mean, plus one. It is the second version, rather. And so, I don't need the Poison Bite Ring at all, in any capacity. And so I don't need to waste my time picking it up. Now I need to take down these three again before I can head into the boss proper. Did this guy not aggro? Sometimes he's not paying careful attention and takes a little while to catch on that something is amiss, but no matter. I take them all out, and I've actually changed up my equipment slightly. I swapped in the old Leo ring while the ring of life protection is broken, and I decided to equip this prisoner hood that I picked up when I was going through the lost run, so oh well. It should give me a nice little boost to my item discovery and a bunch of extra damage versus this boss because you can attack him mid-attack quite often. As you can see, I deal almost 500 damage on these counter hits, and that's with light attacks. 600 if I'm doing a strong attack. Oh, get out of there. That's completely pathetic. Feel free to flail around like that as much as you like. It's not going to save you. You are a pathetic boss, and you will never, ever pose a threat to anybody, so... Have a good day. Come on, right on up. Did I not speak to Lucatil at one point? Why isn't she here? Hmm. Did I not speak to Lucatil? I think I did. I met her once in the Undead. The, um, Lost Bastille. I talked to her then. Where else does she appear? She appears way down in the Black Gulch. She also appears... Mm, I, I think I talked to her before... Uh, goodness, I left the No Man's Wharf, did I not? Maybe I killed her. Did I kill her? I don't have her mask, so I'm, I'm dubious, but I'm going to ignore that fact because it's not really relevant. I already got her, hu ooh, got her human effigy, which is all I really needed her for. The Ring of Steel Protection is kind of worthless, so... No need to worry about that, and I can just head on my merry way and deal with these two mannequins that are going to come down and try and mess me up. There we go, we for him to whiff, and now I can take on his partner in relative ease. I am definitely going to head down this side area to pick up the pike, because the idea of an even longer spear is really appealing to me, even though it's more of a strength weapon than this winged spear. Mix up the dashing so that when I get to this chest, they don't peg me with their poison. Immediately back it up so that their poison arrows whiff. Ooh, dear. See what I mean? One of those poison arrows does over half my poison capacity, so if both of them hit, I would be poisoned for certain. Heal that on up, and I can ignore them from here on out in the level because they're not going to have any chance to hit me going forward. But no matter, I'm going to come right on up here, activate the next bonfire, and that's going to be about it. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm having a great time getting back into the swing of things and recording. Even though there was a bit of a uh, recording loss last time, I can get right back into the groove and start heading out with a few more Let's Plays for you all. So thank you all so much for watching, and you all have a nice day.